everyone and uh, welcome to a new video we continue uh, with our training uh, series where we are discussing the elastic certified uh, analyst exam uh, and today we will uh, see how we can use um, a lens to create a visualization with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with 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 the multiple layers all right so um, we will go to a visualization library and we create or we click on create visualization and we choose uh, uh, a lens and here we choose our data view and we continue using our uh, e-commerce again a reminder you make sure that you choose the right time range if they asking uh, during the uh, scenario of the exam if they asking for the last week last month or specific date range or time range make sure you select uh, the correct one right so we saw previously that lens is uh, one of the best tools uh, that um, will help to create visualization with just drag and drop you don't need to uh, bother yourself with the aggregation and you write uh, or uh, like write the aggregation and there is a lot of powerful feature that we can find in lens we did not find in the aggregation based visualization and um, on the here for example we will um, choose the customer gender right here we go we have the two values right and uh, if we move our mouse here it's like it's showing us the count and this showing us the uh, count record for male and this for female for the last 30 days so this is the count if i want to um I change it to I don't know unique count if I want to change it to some I don't know the percentage so you uh, you uh, you have to choose the um, the function that you are looking for and uh, you type uh, or you, you you choose the functions or the correct fun function and you choose also the uh, the correct field right so I keep it for now the count and now for example we have something here as you can see add layer this is the way how you add layer so this is the first layer where we have a count for a customer gender now i want to add another layer i click and here i i have multiple choices and in this video we will see how we add a visualization layer and in the next two next video we will see the two others anyway so uh, we click on add visualization layer and here let's say we have something similar to this one so uh, we are using the uh, uh, the same data view or the same index pattern and here we can choose the field or we can just drag and uh, drop let's let's do product products uh, okay let's do a product manufacture here we go so now what we have like uh, we have two things we have the first layer showing us the gender and the other layer is showing us the uh, product manufacture right so this is the product manufacture so now if I want so here I'm using a count and here we are using unique account so if I want to change it as well I can just come here and click or change the function and you have the um the visualization get changed right so it's 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 like this so um this work um like this if you want again to see the the uh, the um uh, the query or the aggregation that we are sending behind the scene you 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 have to go to the request and you will be able to see the aggregation here and you can copy and use it somewhere if you want uh, once you finish you make sure that you are answering the right question adding a filter if they are asking uh, time range again and once you uh, you finish you you save your visualization so and you save it again with what they ask you to um, uh, like <clears throat> to use the right name because uh, during the uh, 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 like there is a script that will check if you write or if you save the right visualization and dashboard and uh, save it search with the right name or no so make sure that you are using the right uh, the right name and save it 
like this. Um, me, like, uh, I, I prefer to, once I do the save, I will go to visualization library and uh, and and uh, search for the name and check if I correct correctly uh, save it or if I miss something. All right, uh, with that being said, uh, let me know if you have any uh, question in the section comment and uh, we'll see you in the next topic.